Dear students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Kunal Keshri, Assistant Professor at GB Panth Social Science Institute, Allahabad. Today we will be covering a part of paper on migration and urbanization, a module on migration differentials. Learning objectives of this lecture are to understand differential migration by age, differential migration by sex, differential migration by marital status, differential migration by fertility, and differential migration by education. Researchers in demography and sociology are interested in the study of migration from different point of views. For example, students of demography are interested in the age sex pattern of migrants as they affect age sex structure of the place of origin and place of destination. The change in the age sex structure can affect the crude birth and death rates, the rate of labor force participation, the rate of school attendance, etc. Other characteristics of migrants such as marital status levels of education, levels of fertility, occupation and ethnic composition are of interest of various experts in different fields. Sociologists are interested in the study of migration as it is related to problem of adjustments and assimilation of migrants. For such a study, the attributes of migrants and non-migrants have to be known. The study of differentials migration is also necessary for a building up of understanding of the factors which affect migration that is why some person move while some others stay back or what distinguishes a person who migrated from one who does not. It is also necessary for the formulation of a migration theory. Or migration laws. Some scholars are interested in identifying universally valid migration definition for the development of the principles of selectively in migration. Many researchers have pointed out that selectively in migration depends to a certain extent on the phase of migratory movements. Persons with certain attributes regarding sex, age, educational attainment would tend to migrate in a particular phase. For example, during the early stage of urbanization, there is usually a tendency of rural males in the working age groups to move to metropolitan cities. During the later stages, however, migration becomes less selective and more representative of the population of origin. The important factors which determine selective migration and in turn migration differentials are age, sex, marital status, educational attainment and occupation. These are also utilized as stated earlier for the formation of migration theories or to understand the factors causing migration. However, the problem of comparability remains which is the primary reason why no comprehensive attempt is made to systematically organize or review such studies on migration differentials. Selectivity among migrants is emphasized in most of such studies, especially with reference to the following differentials. Differential migration by age in one of the important differentials. Most of the studies indicate that migration is selective of person's age. Young and adult of prime working ages 15 to 35 years predominant among voluntary migrants with respect to internal and international migration. Jakaria 
found that in 1961 the age distribution of the migrants to greater mumbai was distinctly different from that of the non migrants among the migrants there was an excess of adolescents and young adults when the migration was considered 18.5% belong to the age group of 15 to 59 means prime working age the corresponding percentage for the non migrants being 37.27 again whereas less than 10% of the migrants were below the age of 10 45% of the non migrants were below that age the greatest difference was thus evident in the youngest age group the age structure of the migrants was also found to differ from that of the general population of four places of origin like maharashtra gujarat uttar pradesh and bihar according to census 2001 out of the total migrants numbering about 258 million in india who migrated within the state 17.4% were in the age group 15 to 24 years 23.2% in 25 to 34 years and 35.6% in 35 to 59 years among migrants by place of birth from outside the state of enumeration in india 36.1% were in the age group of 35.59 years and 24.7% in the age group of 25 to 34 years according to census 2001 these high proportions of older and economically active age groups perhaps reflect their migration for work in a new state coming to differential migration by sex the phenomenon of sex selectivity of migrants is not as clear cut as that of age selectivity ramenstein's generalization that females appear to dominate among the short journey migrants depends partly upon how the notion of short distance is defined some scholars have found that females predominate in well established secure migratory moves and males in those of pioneering innovative character where the level of urbanization is still low in afro asia male dominated rural urban migration is usually found whereas in europe north america and latin america where levels of urbanization are high the females dominate moves to cities in india and other developing nations female migration is still predominantly for marriage and familial purposes with some slight increase in migration for employment in general varying pattern of sex selective migration are found these variations are associated with the economic aspects of the social structure in combination with the social cultural position of women in society now coming to differential migration by marital status less information is available on this aspect than that of age sex the problem arises when we consider marital status of migrants at the time of migration in case of marriage migration such as in india or japan the distinction is not important as long as marriage occurs around the time of migration in some countries of asia and africa male migrants 
to cities are mostly married and either remits money to their family or return with their savings at the end of their migration period in the usa earlier census data showed a higher proportion of migrants among married persons than among single persons now coming to differential migration by fertility as migrants respond to differential economic opportunities and therefore can be regarded as a form of social mobility and in such cases especially of rural to urban migration migratory moves would be highly selective of persons of lower than average fertility at the place of origin however not much research was done to prove this phenomenon there have been varying opinions about the fertility level of the migrants and the native residents some studies show especially in the usa south america and elsewhere that the fertility level of the migrants to cities have been lower than that of native residents while some researchers have contradicted it both these aspects need further investigation now coming to the most important differentials of migration which is by education information on this aspect is really available and most widely utilized education is used as an index of socio economic status and also as a measure of population quality either as an index of investment in human capital or of genetic differences diverse findings however have been found in literature it has been observed that in migrants into bombay and calcutta have less education than non migrants at the place of destination but have more education than the population of migrant sending areas from which they have come similar findings were found in many latin american countries however carwell in his study in ghana compared migrant with non migrant rural residents and found a strong positive relationship between the duration of schooling and the propensity to migrate from rural to urban areas in a critical review of many migration studies in usa and the netherlands hopsty found that migration as such is not necessarily selective with respect to intelligence and education such a selection normally characterizes rural urban migration but no migration within the countryside so far we have understood that migration is also characterized by enormous economic and social diversity spanning socio economic variables such as age sex education family size and composition etc the study of differential migration is necessary for a building up of an understanding of the factors which affect migration that is why some person move while some others stay back or what distinguishes a person who migrated from one who does not questions first why is it important to study the differentials of migration what is the pattern of migration differentials according to age and sex third how far migration pattern is affected by education thank you students